this video we're going to continue the topic on how does a speed camera work. We're going to look at how an ultrasound scan works. So in this video we're going to consider how an ultrasound works. A lot of the physics we've just learnt about to describe how a speed camera works also applies to a, the machine which is used to do ultrasound scans. It can actually also be used for echolocation devices on ships, etc. So how an ultrasound machine works is, first of all, it needs to generate a signal. Ultrasound uses sound waves, so longitudinal waves, rather than waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. So the sound is generated with a piezoelectric crystal that changes shape very rapidly, and that generates the sound waves. So the frequency of the sound waves used in the ultrasound machine is around about 1 to 5 megahertz, so a very high frequency. The signal then travels from the probe to your skin. Now, it's travelling through air and suddenly it hits your skin, which is a very dense medium. So at this point, a whole lot of the signal is reflected and that would actually cause the whole thing to be swamped and you wouldn't be able to see anything. So what ultrasound technicians have to do to avoid this issue is they actually apply a gel between your skin and the probe. And what this does is it actually matches more the density of the medium through which the, wave, the ultrasound wave is initially travelling to, to when it's going through your skin. And so this reduces the amount of reflection. So this technique is known as acoustical impedance matching. So once the wave has passed through your skin, it goes into your body. Now different bits of your body have slightly different densities. And when the wave goes from a part with one density to a part with another density, some of the wave is reflected back to the machine. So if you have a baby, then the baby's skull reflects a lot of the signal and the other parts of the baby can reflect the signal as well. The ultrasound can also pick up on your organs as they have a slightly different density to the surrounding organs and soft tissue. So how, what the ultrasound does is it sends out the signal and waits for it to be reflected back. It calculates the time it takes for this echo or for the reflection to get back to it. From that time taken, it can work out how far away the object of which the sound was reflected is. And it can, the computer within the UltraScan scanner uses this to produce an image such as the one shown, showing what's going on inside the person. So let's do a calculation now where we'll calculate how long it takes a signal to return to the scanner after bouncing off a baby. So the question is, part of a baby is located 20 centimetres from an ultrasound probe. How long would it take the signal to return to the probe? The speed of ultrasound in soft tissue is 1540 metres per second. So we've got a probe here there's a baby down here and the signal comes down and then is reflected back up to the probe and this distance is 20 centimeters and so the distance it travels is the signal has to travel down to the baby and back up so we've got time is equal to distance over speed and the distance it's traveled is two times that 20 centimeters because it's gone down and back up and the speed is 1540 meters per second. So solving this on the calculator we get 2.60 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds is the time for the signal to return to the probe. And so the computer attached to the probe can use this time to work out how far that part of the baby is located away from the probe. So we've just described how a typical two-dimensional ultrasound works, which produces an image which is just a slice through whatever the probe is looking at. 
Now, people have also developed three-dimensional ultrasounds which give you a much more detailed picture. How this works is that you actually take multiple images at once. So possibly by moving the probe around or by having two probes at slightly different locations. You then have a powerful computer which can put together these images and from these two-dimensional images it can construct a three-dimensional image. Now there's a third type of ultrasound known as a Doppler ultrasound. And how a Doppler ultrasound works is it measures that frequency difference off the reflected waves. And so this is used to measure things which are moving in your body. So typically it's used to measure the flow of blood through your heart or the large arteries leading from your heart. So Doppler ultrasound can be used to calculate the rate of blood flow in the heart and the large arteries. So in this video we've seen that similar physics can describe both speed cameras and ultrasounds. In both these cases we have something which is producing a signal, the signal is being sent out and then reflected back where it is analysed by a computer and from this the location or the movement can be worked out. Special thanks to Sebastian Frick for filming this video.